And there's another name for this. There's another name for this, and it's called the von Mises stress. So that's another name for, so you might see it in papers as like, sometimes they use a bar over it, sometimes they'll say sigma Vm for von Mises, sometimes they'll say so equivalent. So the equivalent stress, another name for it is the von Mises stress. And when we talk about von Mises plasticity, which is sort of the most basic form of plasticity, we're making the assumption that under a triaxial stress state, so that would be when we have a full stress tensor, the material is yielding when the equivalent stress is greater than or equal to y. Okay, and so we can actually answer that question I propose now, right? So the equivalent stress is equal to 3J2. And we can write J2 a bunch of ways in terms of the principal stresses or whatnot, but one way to write it is this. So this guy, so the whole thing's under a square root sign. Right? And so for the, for the question I proposed, I said sigma 1, 1 is equal to 10 MPA, sigma 2, 2, and I meant to say sigma 3, 3 as well, is equal to 20 MPA. And our yield value is 15 MPA. Well, if you, if you plug these guys in, and evaluate sigma equivalent, pretty sure it evaluates to 10 MPA. So under this criterion, or under the assumption of von Mises plasticity, the material's not yielding. That's the answer to that question, according to this theory. And so what we do in von Mises plasticity is we basically say that there's some function of the stress that's equal to minus 3j2 minus y is equal to zero. And this is a material constant. Okay. And so when this function is less than zero, the material is elastic. When this function is equal to zero, it's plastic. And one way to visualize this is in principle stress space, this equation can be thought of as the equation of a, so this is sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 
This equation is the equation of a circle that surrounds the line sigma 1 equals sigma 2 equals sigma 3. So we're, we're looking down. You know, this is an axis that we're looking down, straight down. As I have it drawn, we're looking straight down the line. Sigma 1 equals sigma 2 equals sigma 3. Okay? Uh, so like in the way we m would normally draw a coordinate system, sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3. This is a line that's out here. Sigma 1 equals sigma 2 equals sigma 3. And the, the radius of this circle is the square root of 3j2 equal to y. That's the radius of the circle. And so if we draw this in stress space, it's really like a cylinder. It's a cylinder that surrounds that line. The radius of the cylinder is y, or square root of 3j2. And the state of stress is either inside this cylinder, in which case it's elastic, or it's on the surface of the cylinder, in which case it's plastic. Okay? It can never be outside the cylinder. And, and that, you know, uh, I was going to go back, but that's, if you just remember our drawing, right? If, if we continue to strain it, it's just going to sit on this line. It's just going to sit on the yield surface. 